This is a tips video for the Nintendo Classic Edition system. Uh, this is the system that includes 30 NES Classic games, and it costs $59.99, although you can't really find it as of this video right now, so you may have to pay a little bit more. But anyway, um, a lot of people are complaining that the cord on the controller is too short, because it's only about three feet from the device. So they're buying extension cables for like 20, 30 bucks, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing is, it's meant to be close to the um, unit because you have to oftentimes press this reset button. There's no reset button you know, on the controller. These don't really work to reset anything when you're in a game. So you find that you often have to press these. So the best solution, the cheapest solution to get this close to you, like right here you can see it's on my coffee table, um, and you want this close to you. So the best solution to that is just get a cheap HDMI cable because it uses regular HDMI on the back of here. Get a cheap long one. So I've got like a 10 foot long HDMI cable going all the way back there to my system, you know, into my TV. Or actually this might even be, I think this is a 10 foot, but you can get them even longer, 12 feet, 20 feet, and they're pretty cheap. You know, you can get them for um, as low as like 10 bucks or something. And then let's say you don't have power because you need power too um, to plug this in. If you don't have power by your couch, I have found that because it's a regular USB, one of these power chargers like from Anchor or whatever works and it will actually power this for quite some time with one of these. So um, you don't even need power by your couch and uh, you're all set. So the way that you would do that is so you just take your USB power cable and your HDMI cable and plug it into the back of this and you're pretty much all set. So let me go ahead and do that now and I'll show you it working. All right, so now I've got this hooked up and working. As you can see, it's on. And uh, the Nintendo NES Classic is being powered by the Anchor USB portable battery pack. And this will last a long time because I don't think this thing draws very much power. So um, you won't even have to charge this that often. Um, and then I've got my long HDMI here. So you can see it's on my coffee table. It's close to me and yet I can still sit back in my couch and play a game. So it works pretty fine. Uh, I can just go into a game here and just show you that it's working. Why don't I go into Donkey Kong? And it plays fine. So, thanks. so this has been my tips and tricks video for how to get the NES Classic system right on your coffee table real close to you so you can sit on your couch or your chair or whatever and play comfortably without spending a lot of money. Be sure to check the description field for pricing and availability on where you can get uh, the long HDMI cable for really cheap as well as this uh, battery pack as well for a good price. You, probably, you don't need the battery pack necessarily if you have a plug right by your sitting position, like by your couch or something, but if you don't, the battery pack definitely comes in handy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.